Zuckerberg, you were stating earlier that we needed to put some definition in place. We're going to do that. We're going to take away nebulous language, and we're going to be specific, unlawful, uh, inciting personal harm, inciting terrorism. We're going to do that and clear that up for you. Mr. Zuckerberg, um, Facebook is more like a government than a traditional company, is a statement that you have made. And there's a lot of power in that for you. So yes or no on a couple of questions here. Does Facebook routinely censor a user's account at the behest of a foreign government? Yes or no? Um, Senator, I'm, I'm not sure if there's anything in particular you're referring to, but in general, we... we well, we there is center. something in particular that I'm uh, referring to, and I'll answer it. Yes, you've done that. You have 60 million users in Vietnam. Uh, of course, this is a communist regime. Under the orders of the Vietnamese government, did Facebook shut down and ban the account of a Vietnamese dissident because he criticized the governor's government's land policy? Yes or no? Um, so I'm not familiar with all the details of that, but I believe that we uh, that we may have done that, and that in general we try to follow the local yes, laws. Yes, you of different did, countries. and you kept him off for three months. Uh, in Turkey, does Facebook have an anti-blasphemy policy where it will take down photos of the Prophet Muhammad if the Turkish government orders it to do so? Uh, Senator, again, we don't have a policy against that, but well, we the do, answer is we do yes. follow. Well, we we follow the, local laws. It, it, uh, in the answer the is yes. Where we in Russia, under pressure from the Russian government, did Facebook take down a post advertising the rally in support of the dissident Alexei Navalny? And the answer is yes. I'll help you with that. Do you believe it's Facebook's duty to comply with state? sponsored censorship so it can keep operating, doing business, and selling ads in that country. So in general, we try to comply with the laws in every country where we operate and, and do business. Okay, and I think that uh, you prioritize profit over principle uh, when you look at these countries and also in communist China, which they have banned their citizens from you. Uh, you can't operate there. Um, in, in China, Twitter, you have an opponent there. You've got a knockoff, Weibo, that is a Chinese Communist Party-owned company. But your companies, even though they're banned there, you're still trying to do business in those countries. Mr. Dorsey, does Twitter do business with Huawei? Um, I, don't, I don't believe so, but we can follow up. Oh, I can answer it for you, sir. Uh, you helped launch Huawei's Mate 3 Pro 5G, and it is featured on Twitter's marketing page website. Uh, how about Alibaba? You do uh, business with Jack Ma's company with their links to the Chinese Communist Party? If, if by business you mean allowing people to advertise on a platform. Uh, your answer is yes. Mr. Zuckerberg, are you aware that last year China's top internet regulator agreed to spend over $800,000 for the communist mouthpiece, the People's Daily? And they did this so that they could advertise and promote China to the American people on Facebook. The point of all of this, and the answer to that, Mr. Zuckerberg, whether you're aware or not, is you probably are, and you know that what they're doing is gaining access to this market. This is why we're going to keep a real close watch over what you all are doing with Libra and what you are doing uh, with, with um, Square. Because we see what has happened, it's important for us to protect people and to protect human rights. And your election, let me move to election content. Um, and that monitoring, um, because we do have concerns about some of the things that happened there. Mr. Zuckerberg, let me ask you this. Have you heard of the Trump Accountability Project? 
Uh, Senator, I'm not familiar with that. Okay, that is a project that is an attempt to blacklist Americans who have served in the Trump administration and to prohibit them from gaining future employment. Now, in communist China, in Putin's Russia, in totalitarian states, the government regularly will issue a blacklist on their enemies. Enemies of the state are banned from getting a job, and if their names fall on the blacklist, they are out. Now, this seems disturbing that it would be happening here in this country. So, Mr. Zuckerberg, do you agree with me there is seriously something wrong with an un-American blacklist tarring people from future employment simply because they belong to a different political party. Uh, Senator, I, I generally agree that people should not be discriminated against because of uh, a political belief. Okay, that is a positive step. Now, on Facebook, I wrote in a post, and I'm quoting, the Trump Accountability Project is the epitome of the cancel culture. Our nation has long benefited from robust political debate, and this effort to silence those who support our president is vile. As you can tell from this statement, nothing was said about the election or the results, either directly or indirectly. But... Somehow, I got slapped with your elections flag sticker. So what each of you need to realize, and you've heard it time and again today, you say you don't keep list. Obviously, you have list because there are some of us who are regularly censored and called down by your content moderators. Do we want to see these lists? Yes. How have you built these lists? We want to know. I would remind each of you, you are a Title I service. You are an information service. You are to be the new public square. But what you are doing with your power that you have derived because federal law gave you the ability to stand up and grow without being hit by lawsuits, you have used this power to run amok. You have used it to silence conservatives. You have used it to build your list. You have used this power to act like you hold all the power that you can make these decisions. You have driven this cancel culture because you have not called to account your moderators. You have refused to take responsibility for your employees and their actions, so thereby reining you in on the issues of privacy, data security, content moderation, liability protections, defining who is a publisher in the virtual space, that is up to us because you have proven you do not have the will, the strength, the ability, and you will not accept the responsibility to do it for yourselves. I yield my time. Thank you very much, Senator Blackburn.